Welcome, I'm Colter Heath, and I hope you enjoy this documentary. When we started to study the solar system, I took particular interest in, in planets. I decided to, to look up Uranus. Where is Uranus, you might ask? Can you see Uranus with the naked eye? I will answer all of these questions and more as I reveal more about Uranus. Uranus is really big. In fact, it's the third biggest planet in the solar system. It's the seventh planet from the star. Let's cut to a video. Oh crap, you caught me. Well, I guess I just go ahead anyways. I'm gonna show you where Uranus is on this roll of toilet paper. These 100 squares of toilet paper represent the distance of the planets from the sun all to scale. These four planets down here are the terrestrial planets, the rocky ones. Then it starts to get a little bit more gassy. And over here is Uranus. And Uranus is a gas giant. Then way down here is Pluto. Pluto is a dwarf planet. Uranus has many complex Hypothetically, let's say, this basketball represents the planet. This is the equator, and this planet spins like this, just like the Earth. Uranus spins in the opposite way, and is tilted on its side. Oops. This is the North Pole, and this is the South Pole, and it spins like this. Scientists think another small planet hit Uranus to tilt it on its side. Here are some more important facts about Uranus. The, the diameter of Uranus is 32,000 miles, about four times the diameter of Earth. This is what a diameter is from one end. To the other. The distance from the Sun to Uranus is 1.8 billion miles. Uranus is so far away you cannot see it without a telescope. If you look up at the night sky with a telescope, you will see Uranus glowing lovely shades of light and dark blue. Uranus is 30,685 days to make it a full orbit around the sun. That is one Uranian year. It, think of it this way. The Earth takes 365 days to make a full orbit around the sun. That's one Earth year. One Uranian year is 30,685 it would be 84 years for Uranus to make an orbit around the sun one time. If you lived, if you lived on Uranus, you would never make it to be a terrible two-year-old. You would also spend 42 years in winter and 42 years in summer. It takes 17 hours for Uranus to rotate on its axis. It takes 24 hours to Earth to do this. But on Uranus, if you are on the half of the planet that is winter or facing from the sun, um, let's say you are on Uranus right here, and this is the side where the sun is. So that is summer for 42 years until it gets the spring, and then fall, and then to winter, and then go from spring to summer again. But you could never stand on Uranus because it is a very cold and gassy place. Uranus is very chilly, so it's perfect weather for Yetis. temperature on Uranus is about 
negative 300 degrees. Uranus is made out of frozen elements. You, we have one moon orbiting the Earth. But did you know what orbits Uranus? 27 moons and 13 rings go around Uranus. I'd like to conclude this documentary by showing a computer-generated image of Uranus. Don't worry, Mom. This film is rated PG. Now, to Marin. Thank you, Kofi. Today I'll be showing you the reasons for the seasons. Here is our sun. It is the center of our solar system. Here is our planet Earth. It is the third planet from the sun. Our solar system is heliocentric. Helio means sun, centric means center. So this means that the sun is the center of our solar system. First let me demonstrate until we first let me demonstrate how we have days and nights. This is me on Earth. I'm in Colorado in the northern hemisphere. This state is Earth's axis. The Earth spins on its axis. This last flash flashlight represents the sun. The sun, when the sun is shining on the sticker, it's daytime. When the sun rotates, when the Earth rotates around, and the sticker is on the opposite side, it's night. It takes 24 hours for Earth to rotate on its axis. This means it takes one whole day to spin around one time. But guess what? There's more. Earth is not straight but down on its axis, but it's tipped at a 23.5 degree angle, like this. Now I'm going to show you the reasons for the seasons, and it's because of this tip. It takes the Earth 365 days to completely go around the sun on its orbit. That's a revolution. It takes one year for the Earth to revolve around the sun. At the same time, the Earth is still spinning on its axis while it goes around the sun. That's the day and night part. The seasons part has to do with the Earth orbiting the sun. Within a year, we have four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Remember how the Earth is tipped? Right now, it's winter here in the northern hemisphere, and it's summer down in the, in the southern hemisphere. Why is it summer? I'll show you. Here, the sun is shining directly on the southern hemisphere, causing it to be summer. Hi from Dot Under. I'm here in the southern hemisphere. It's the perfect day in January to soak up the sun and the summer rays on the beach. Up here in the northern hemisphere, the sunlight is not hitting it directly, but it's hitting it at an angle. And the cause of, and the direct sunlight, and the lack of direct sunlight causes it to be winter. snow here in the northern hemisphere because it's winter while down there in the southern hemisphere they're probably on the beach soaking up all those ultraviolet rays because it's summer now the sun is hitting the northern hemisphere making it summer there and in the southern hemisphere it's winter on june 21st at the north pole there's sunlight all day long Imagine how hard it would be to get sleep. When the Earth goes another one fourth of the way around the sun, a fourth of the year has gone by. Now the sunlight is shining equally on both hemispheres. It's fall in the northern hemisphere and spring in the southern hemisphere. The days and nights are the same length in each hemisphere, but the solstices are the opposite. Wow. Picture just showed the four seasons as the Earth revolves around the sun. To 
So basically, the reasons for the seasons is that the Earth is tip, and the tip never changes as it revolves around the sun. It's as easy as that. Thanks for watching.